I had just thought I'd um, make a video of my craft haul which I got from the Great British Craft Festival. Um, it was a really good show, I got quite a lot of good bargains so I just thought I'd give you a quick look at what I purchased. Um, the first thing I got was this little um, bag, like goodie bag. It was £5 and it has like £10 worth of stuff in there. So I thought that was a bit of a bargain. I like to just get these bags with random bits in and then see what I've got. It's quite fun. So I picked one of those up for £5. And that was from um, Chloe's Creative Cards. I also, from Chloe's Creative Cards, bought some embossing powders. Let's see those. There we go. And these are the new colours that have just come out. Um, so I got those. Those were, that was £14 for the set of six, which isn't too bad. They're £14.40. And then I also got this stamp as well, which was five ninety nine, and that was from Chloe's Creative Cards. That's her information. I also bought while well, I was there a lot of MDF wooden items. Which I'm going to use for doing some decoupage stuff. I got all these items here for £23. So I'll show you what I've got. I've got this heart set which contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hearts of different sizes. And I got this love sign. key, this nice little wooden box and the lid on this so far and that's what the inside of the box looks like. So once I alter that up, do some decoupage on it, it should look pretty nice. I also got another box this little box here it comes off like that. You could always put some hinges on it or a fastener on it so then it would open like that, which would be nice. Again, I'm going to do some decoupage work on that. And then I bought this box, which I think is really nice. This one was £8, but it's a really big box and um, it's, you can turn it into like a storybook, storybook box. It'll look really nice when it's all done up. So I think that was definitely a good buy. And then, this, in order to decoupage that, I bought some decoupage paper. Got quite a lot of stuff. It was a pound per sheet, and if you bought ten, you got a sheet free. Some really nice sheets here. That one. That one. That one. That one.
And then I also bought these little packs which give you little samples. So these are just tiny samples of different paper, but all of like in like the same type of colour. So they'll all go well together when you're doing your decoupaging. And then you've got like a little information booklet of things you can do with your decoupaging. And that's the information there. So it's from the Arty Craft Place. Give you some ideas of what you can do. Decoupage wise, isn't it? And then I also bought some paper packs bought this one which is called Sweet Owl and this was six pounds and I got this one which is noir chic this was six pounds as well got this one from a different stall. Um, I think the stall I got this one from was called Daisy Jewel Crafts and these were £5 each. So this one is Desert Blossom. And then I got one more from there, which again was five pounds. And then I also, from that place, got a few moulds, which I'm going to put my resin in and make um, some charms for jewellery. So that one was 3 99 And again, it's from Daisy's Jewel Craft. That's the information there. Then I also bought a few stamps. What about that one? This one. I've got this sky blue ink pad. I've got these stamps as well. This one was £12. And I also got one of these creative palettes as well. And then finally, I know, not finally, I also bought a load of stamps 
for um, fabric printing. It's from um, Block Crafts, and that's their um, website there. So it's for fabric painting. It's in fabric paint to create pretty um, fabric pieces. So these are the stamp box which I've purchased. They are quite expensive but very pretty, very detailed. I'm going to go with the stamps, but I also just bought a few of the fabric paints. I got them in sort of pastel colours because I've got a lot of other colours already and I haven't got any pastel colours. So these were at four for ten pounds. So I got that one. I got like a lilac colour. Pink. And the blue. She also threw in four sponges, one for each colour. And she also threw in a free tea towel to start printing on. And there's her um, leaflet. Other information on. And then finally, I bought some florist ribbon to create flowers and ribbons for gift parcels. Now, this is going to be a new craft for me. I've not done this before not tried it out properly yet but this is what you get in the pack this one pack was 28 pounds i think for that you get a little instruction leaflet there and this is their details called create with ribbon and you get two DVDs, instruction DVDs. So you get this one to show you how to do all the flowers. And then this one to show you how to make ribbons for parcels. You get this glue stick. You get some of this fine white glitter. A few wooden sticks, some florist tape and a 12 different coloured ribbons. It's a lot of ribbon you get with the pack. I'm not sure if how many metres you get per colour but it, it's a lot. I think it might have been 10 metres of each colour. So that should last you quite a while so I don't think that's bad for £28. This is one of the ones that was made, but it has got a bit, it 
is a bit squashed now but when it was nice it was very good so that's the sort of thing you can make with it try and squash it down so as you can see there's a lot there that I purchased from the craft show oh I forgot to show you the main thing for this is this cutting tool for cutting the ribbon this is the main thing which makes it all possible so this on its own was five pounds so pretty cheap if you didn't want to buy the whole set and as well as buying stuff they did do a few free classes you make and take the things home we just made a few simple cards that one and that one so it was a very good enjoyable craft fair definitely go again definitely recommend it um, didn't get to look around all the stores um, but spent a lot of money um, I would definitely recommend if it comes near you to give it a go um, I hope you, there isn't one coming soon to the Midlands so if you live near there maybe check it out okay hope you've enjoyed this craft haul video and look out for 